Yo, 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 another day, another dollar with your homeboy, Jermaine, and this morning I am starting off with an Uber Eats order. This Uber Eats order has turned into double orders, and I did receive a message from Uber talking about, hey, if you complete 20 trips, you get a $55 bonus. Maybe I can complete 10 more trips today and I can get that bonus. I think I'll be able to complete 10 more trips today. Let's get this party started right now. It's like raining, sort of. That could be very positive news for the day. If it rains, people are not gonna wanna go out. Also, if it rains, there will be less traffic on the street, so I can easily navigate myself around the city, drop these orders off, pick them up, make that money, run, do some more orders, and just keep going, keep pumping, keep doing it, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's Sunday, Sunday fun day. I'm gonna have some fun today, too. Next. Oh, so we just had the time change. So I think a lot of people are just sleeping in. A lot of drivers are probably trying to figure out, yo, what time is it right now? Should I be driving? Usually on time change days, things are pretty slow because like I said, people sleep in. Everyone's got to get back on their normal time, you know? Let's go pick up this food. I'm trying to remember if I made deliveries here before. Have I ever made deliveries here before? Maybe not. This could be a new place for me. Yeah, this is definitely a new building. I don't think I've ever dropped off here before. And I have one more drop off left. Dang, I don't have any service up here. I'm gonna have to wait till I get downstairs to end the request. What is that? So I'm back here in this creepy elevator and I've noticed that the emergency phone is way up here. So if you're like short, and this thing breaks down, how are you gonna reach this? That's like super high up there. Ooh, let go. Hi. Hello, hey, this is Uber. I have your food downstairs. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm wearing the red card. Okay. Hello. Hello, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you on this next Uber Eats order and the instructions are do not block any neighbor's driveway. So I've been circling around the block looking for a parking spot. There's nowhere to park. Where else am I gonna park? Like, am I gonna double park on the street or am I just gonna block someone's driveway? I'm probably gonna have to block someone's driveway because that's what I do on more than half of the deliveries I make. I have to block a driveway or I have to block someone in or I have to park in a red zone. I always have to do something that I shouldn't do to make a delivery. So how can I change that this time? Just drop that Uber Eats order off. And guys, lately I've been going to maybe a few different restaurants and they have requested that I bring the food bag in the restaurant. And I totally don't mind doing it. Usually I don't bring the food bag in if it's like one or two items. If it's a bunch of items, I'll, I'll bring it in. But if it's just like one or two items, I won't bring it in. The main reason why I don't bring it in, especially during nighttime, is because a lot of these restaurants are really small and they're packed. So when you walk in with this like big food bag and you gotta lift it up above tables. And, and also like I'm, I'm working outside, so what do I do? I walk in the restaurant with a jacket on. Sometimes customers at some of these restaurants look at me as if I'm like, about to rob the place or something. So I just feel somewhat sketched out sometimes like walking in there with a big old food bag, especially when I can see that I'm picking up one salad. Why do I need a bag this big to pick up one salad? Instead of using that really big black Uber bag, because I know a lot of drivers just keep that bag in the trunk of their car, so when they pick up food, they can put the food in the trunk and it won't stink up the car, because that's one problem I have. Like, since I put the food inside the car, the car stinks all the time. Because when passengers get in my car, they always ding me on smell. And that's because, you know, I'm driving around with fried food in my car. I totally don't mind doing it because I'd rather have food in my car than a passenger because that food's not going to talk back to me just like a passenger is going to talk back to me. But anyway, I just got one of these smaller food bags. Now, I was using this one in the rain. This is perfect for the rain because it's like plastic. Those big black Uber bags will definitely get wet. As soon as they get wet, they get heavy, and you don't want to walk around with a wet, heavy black bag, especially if you're picking up one item from a restaurant. Just got another request. This is um, Bagel Shop. Let's go pick this one up. This one says, park right outside, come inside for pickup. Don't we do that for most orders? Bro, who leaves a Ferrari parked on the streets in San Francisco? 
That is a horrible idea. Horrible idea. And look at this fancy car behind it. I need some ballers over here, right? I'm glad I don't have to wait in this one. Funny, those people got so pissed when I just like walked in, just skipped the whole line and was like, yo, I'm here to pick up this Uber order. <laughs> I got so many horrible looks. Keep waiting in line. This morning, Uber's been hooking me up with these batch orders. I really, really like these batch orders. I'm dropping off the second batch order. This one is going like on the other side of the city. I've actually cut my request off because I want to look and see how much money I made. And I also want to get closer towards the higher boost surge so I can maximize my time while I'm out here on these streets driving for Uber. Dang, out here walking on the beach, I just thought about one thing. When I get back to the car, I'm gonna track a whole bunch of sand in the car. But I don't really care, it's not my car, it's a rental car. Yes, we do have beaches in San Francisco. Definitely not like beaches in SoCal. Dang, the beach is hella crowded today. I guess I haven't been here in quite some time. And by the way, guys, this is uh, technically a nude beach. I don't see any nude people here. Everyone I see is pretty much clothed. I've noticed in the Presidio, this neighborhood I'm in, the last place I dropped that Uber Eats order off, I've noticed I've never seen broken glass around here. Now, the whole Presidio is, I believe it's owned by the government, so there's a different police force. And things are ran a little bit different in the Presidio, not the same as they are in San Francisco. The Presidio is like a whole different, like, city within San Francisco, and it doesn't even look like the city. It looks like the suburbs, or it looks like anywhere else but the city just accepted another uber eats batch order and i'm just driving through the marina right now and it must be some race or a yoga class or something ending because i see a lot of you know little ladies running around in workout clothes it's been a while since i've did early morning sunday deliveries and man like all of these breakfast spots are like packed so it's like the same routine just walk in skip everybody go pick up the food bounce out of there over and over and over just dropped off another order check it out it's over here by the famous lombard street this place is hella busy on the weekends but during the week there's like no one here picking up this next uber eats order and this one's kind of a bummer it's not double orders huh check out this <laughs> hi bay area for some reason this call box is not working and i guess i'm gonna have to call the customer call the customer and as i was calling her she sent me a text message saying try it again so i'm gonna try it again door still didn't work but come on you guys know how to get into a building figure out a better way to get in just follow someone that's walking out that works every time i really like the deliveries that say stay in car they're the best ones i got no idea where this customer's at i got what another five minutes to wait here and then i'm gonna ride off and i guess i'll have more food to give to another homeless person Picking up another Uber Eats order. Now this order is a little bit different. Check this one out. It's really heavy, but um, it's four bottles of champagne. Or maybe this is Uber Rush instead of Uber Eats. Uber's making money off of all of this stuff, man. They're getting 30% off of this right here. Just arriving to the drop off location and I heard something very, very unusual when I arrived. It said, bring your phone in, check for ID. Because this is alcohol, I'm gonna have to check the client's ID. It's a little weird, I feel like a little bartender now. No tips. Just finished up that delivery and obviously that guy was older than 21. He even gave me a dollar tip. But he asked, he said, I can't tip on the app. And I said, no, you can't tip on the app. He's like, oh, I only got a dollar. Pretty stop for a falafel. And I am on the next Uber Eats order, which is right over here. This one did not turn into double orders. Maybe I wasn't paying attention to my phone enough. It could have been double orders. Or is this double orders? This is double orders. Yay! This next pickup is a pickup from a really, really popular sandwich shop. And I've never picked up from this location before. On another double order right now. Just waiting for the customer to come out. I can't get a hold of the customer. How am I gonna get in the building to drop the food off? This Uber Eats guy is smart. He left his girlfriend in the car. Get that money together. Baby girl, sit here while I go drop this order off. All right, let me fill you guys in. Right now it's 6.30. I'm on the second delivery. I started the dinner rush a little late. I started around um, 5.45. On a delivery now, waiting outside the pickup, waiting for the customer. The customer's not answering the phone. And yeah, this is delivery, I think, 24. 
I'm not including this delivery and not including the last delivery. I'm up to $200 and I also got the $55 bonus, so I'm up to $250 right now. Not including these two deliveries, this one and the one before. So my goal is to like hit maybe $350 tonight. 926. I'm in a contest right now. The unusual thing about this delivery was picked up a pizza from this restaurant and the guy told me, oh yeah, you need to collect $40. And I said, what? Collect $40? He said, yeah. Just go there, get the $40 from the guy, and then come back here with the money. So I was like, okay. So the guy gave me 50 bucks. So I'm going to keep 10 bucks for myself and then give the 40 bucks back to the guy at the restaurant. Oh, right now it's 10 o'clock and I have definitely set an Uber Eats record, okay? So I've been online for a total of 11 hours and 46 minutes, which is quite a long time. And I've made a whopping $307.88. Doesn't sound like a lot, but I also received a bonus earlier today for completing 20 trips, which was $55. So that gives me a grand total of $362 on Uber Eats today and today alone. Not bad. Not a bad day. I hope I can have some more profitable days like this on Uber Eats. But for now, I think I'm going to end the vlog. I'm going to go drink some water, get ready to lay down, do it all over again tomorrow.